Welcome back to John's Films, where we're talking about five things I wish I knew when I started editing in Resolve. For instance, you ever seen one of these subscribe buttons? Yeah, I use it in almost every video. Well, I was for the longest time coming in here and importing media, finding it in my media pools, and then adding it. I don't need to do that. There's something called power bins, which don't show up by default, but if you click on the ellipsis up here in the top right of the media pool and choose show power bins, this is a place you can stash any effect, music, or otherwise that you'd like to store and have appear in every video you work on. So in this case, I've added that YouTube animation. I can come in and grab any of these at any time to pop up. Whoop. And now maybe I zoom it down a little bit and I drop the anchor point so that it's only at the bottom, but I always have this available to me in any new project I create. Thank you, Power Bins. Number two, have you ever seen a red mark like this in your media pool? Well, this means that the clip can't be found. And if I try and add it to my timeline, this is what I get. It's pretty annoying. Did you know you can go in your media pool, right click on it and choose to relink the selected clip? This allows you to now select where this clip exists in your hard drive. Select folder. It'll search the folder for you and relink the media clip. Check it out. Even though I added this to the timeline when it was unlinked, huh, it's still there. It's able to see it and it's added it in the timeline for real. Number three, does it bother you that this starts with a one? I've just created a new timeline and added a clip. Why is there a one here? You can change that. DaVinci Resolve Preferences menu. In Preferences, go to User, Editing, and Start Time Code. I'll change that from 01 to 00 and click Save. Wait, it didn't change. Ah, yes. I need to create a new timeline so that that change takes effect. Create and boom, 00, zero at my clip. Happy as can be. Number four. Did you know if you've got some media that's kind of hard to play back and it starts to stutter back and forth, you can do some things to make it better? First, if you only want to have to pay that pain once, you can turn on your render cache under the playback menu. And you hit that with playback, render cache, smart or user. I prefer smart. It realizes when it's struggling and it caches that so that once it's rendered it once, it doesn't have to create it again. The next thing you could do is change the playback resolution. And you can use that with your timeline proxy resolution, half or even a quarter. Notice it got a little fuzzy. That's because it's now at a quarter resolution. Playback, timeline proxy resolution and full pops me right back up to the full quality. This allows me to take some of the processing off of the computer and still get an image that I can cut or edit to. When I want to do some fine tuning or fine color grading, I can always come back and change it. Finally, number five, where to get more information about how Resolve works. Well, you can use your help menu, click on DaVinci Resolve Reference Manual. It'll pop up an over 4,000 page reference manual that you can use to better understand how Resolve works and all of the secrets to video editing in Resolve. That's it. That's the five things I wish I knew when I started using DaVinci Resolve. Thanks for watching and have a great day.